Good morning. Welcome to today's video. I'm still at the hostel. I'm about to go get some breakfast and get ready for another 300k ride with the boys all the way from Marlburg, where we are now, to Stuttgart. Lots of climbing. Hopefully not as much headwind as today and hopefully also no rain. I think I slept two hours, so I feel really bad. I must also look really bad, so I'm not really looking forward to it. But uh, we'll see how it goes. If I really can't do it anymore, I'll just take a train, because there's plenty more rides to come. Good morning, Good morning. Are you excited for the ride, Patrick? Yeah. Yeah? Of course. I slept like a baby. Yeah. I really hope a baby doesn't sleep that long. <laughs> you would see. <laughs> a little baby Jesus. Today is very tough. I think we've done 40 k's and I have the idea that I'm not going to make it. I think I have a chance in 80 kilometers to get off. And I will probably do that because I just I don't feel it anymore. Don't want to continue, just want to eat. Eat and sit. You want gear? Uh, how do you call it? Gear. 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 Power gear. We call it gel. <laughs> uh, cliff, huh? Cliff, cliff always works. Yeah. Crunchy peanut butter. Yeah. yeah. Tennis boot for yeah. the start. Contact lenses. For <laughs> oh, Patrick. Oh, Quaxi! Shout out to Jelmer for the Quaxi. That's something you don't see a lot in Germany. Sports train. No. Too artificial. Yeah. In the Netherlands, a lot of people drink it. Mostly people actually that don't do any sports. <laughs> Okay, we're climbing now, so I have a little bit of morale back again. This is what I do enjoy. And now the surroundings are also way nicer than the city. In the next 20 k's, I think we have a, a thousand meters of climbing to do. So I'm gonna enjoy it. How are you, Patrick? Huh? How are you? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Suffering, but landscape is awesome, huh? Yeah. Whew. Finally, I'm warm. <laughs> uh, is Holland similar? Very similar to what we did uh, before. Before. Very unlike this. Unlike this. Yeah. The last climb. It's very long. Yeah. This is just a pre-climb. Uh, but you light. No problem for you. Yeah. This is where I enjoy myself. I have different scenarios where I enjoy myself. <laughs> okay, a quick update about our current situation. We bailed on the ride to Stuttgart. So instead we are riding to Frankfurt, which is about 20-25 kilometers left which is a way better idea than 250 kilometers left to Stuttgart, so I'm happy. Martin is doing some stretches. Which is important during the ride. Which is important during Always the ride. Always stretch. Also, do you yeah. also stretch after a ride? Depends. So not, not yesterday, I was too exhausted. Not enough. Everything below 300, I stretch. <laughs> Everything above 300, I probably skip the stretch. Yeah. yeah, and you stick to the beer. And I stick to the beer, and yeah. whiskey. And whiskey. Yeah. So uh, another update about this. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rather stretching. <laughs> another thing, we are riding some gravel, which of course I enjoy. I'm always up for an adventure. Patrick is not a big fan of gravel. At least not on his road bike. And now I know why. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not a good time. Never a good time for flight. Bit of gravel. I love it. Google is it's it's Google's fault. Apparently, Google also likes gravel. But we're back on the street now. Yeah. Okay. Also, we found some uh, horses. I will take you to the horses. 
because I'm sure there are some horse lovers among you. Maybe even Leon. I'm, I don't think she's a big fan of horses. Let's see if they are a big fan of me. Hello, horse. What's passed? Mm, uh, I think we were all tired. Pretty tired. <laughs> because you were snoring too loud and nobody could sleep. I was. Yeah. I only slept for two. Did I snore? No. No, we snored. <laughs> I only slept for two hours, so I don't think I could have done a lot of snoring. Yeah, I think we we didn't get on the, you know, In we suffer for a while, dude. Uh, mood. Five. No. No, not at all. So even the first 50k were. Too slow, too painful, and then we got under time pressure. Yeah, I would say we just started off weak and finished early, which is not a bad thing. You Today to we just didn't have it. Sometimes no. you need to look in the mirror and say, okay. Yeah. It's, it's, not, to, it's not supposed to be. Well, there are two small burgers direct from the Straßen Bomba. This hold I for a gerücht. I'll uh, translate that. <laughs> Patrick, I get a lot of questions about my um, camera strap and you have the same and we both modified it in the same way but you did it in a slightly better way than I did. Can you please show the people what you did and how you did it so that they can also do it or that they can buy it from us. <laughs> from us. <laughs> from <Okay>. us. <laughs> yeah, similar to you, with the base one, with peak design. Yeah. Super easy. You can peak design, slide light. Yeah, you can. With these knobbies, you can just take it off and take it on quite easy. So it's just super push cool. it. Especially when you use a tripod or so, you can. Really handy. Super handy, and the strap is quite comfy in fact and it's super easy to adjust length of the strap these things. In fact it's pretty good quality, it's alloy yeah. and it's super nice made. It's also not cheap right? I think it's around 50 euros or something? That one? Yeah. 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 And the genius part. The genius part is especially for cyclists. With this thing we have a triangle to fix the camera on the back. One side is simply hooked in here. It's just a just a loop, yeah. hooked in here, and I just stitch it by hand, so it's it's not professionally made. It's, but it's a prototype. If it's you a buy it from us, from it us. will be better. It will be much better, <laughs> and maybe different colors. Let's think about it. Ah, yeah. And then it's <coughs> a mechanism, a magnetic mechanism, which snaps in, and it's really strong. Also adjustable, of course, and it snaps in. And you don't need to push it with two hands, especially when you're on the bike. You can keep one on the bar and the other one just yeah. fix it and it's super easy to open it. So how do, you, how do you carry it on your back? This is what the people want to see. Same like you. Should I do it now? Yeah. There is a bit of a strap. It is. It's also on. So that's the, the normal one. The very the normal way of carrying it. So and then, of course. Wow. And then Crazy. I can just take it and snap it on. And then you take the camera mm -hmm. um, into the front. And take oh, it awesome. down when you're done. Pictures, video. Pictures, videos. More of a picture guy than a video guy. That's why we work so well together. Yeah. You do the pictures, I do the video. Yeah, you know what? Because you're both stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Patrick, thanks for this demonstration. Uh, we will put a link in the description. To our online shop? This device. Uh, what should we charge? I think it's worth at enough. least 20 euros because it basically makes the existing strap six times better. And the thing is, it's not only good for cycling, it's good for anything where you need to fix the camera tight on your back. A lot of movement. A lot of movement or hiking, Running. you need free arms, and it also works for gardening. For what? What, what would gardening. you carry on your back? Camera. For garden influencers? <laughs> I think we have a lot of markets that we can explore. Yes. 
But first we do the cyclist smart. Okay, I think that's a good way to end the video. Today's ride was too hard. Um, only for you. We were mentally uh, knocked. And I can't wait to go back home to sleep in my own bed. And then the next day to leave for Zurich for another race. So uh, I will see you in that video. Bye bye. Soon available <laughs> and link in the description. Very important, what do we call it? Cyclist track. What did they tell you about names? Oh. Two minutes ago. Okay. Yeah. Two well, we should find a name which is not part of the description, something unique and outstanding. So if we call it the cyclist strap, it pretty much describes what it is. And a good name shouldn't do that. No. You could call it the psyche. The psyche. Psyche. Oh, psyche. Oh. We'll think about it. <laughs>